and welcome everybody to Game of Scotch. My name's Aiden. Eve's here, and hey. Dan's here. Wow, we have an amazing opportunity today, guys. We're visiting uh, Shakespeare Brewing Company. We featured some of their beers in our last uh, podcast episode, uh, and they invited us out, and we're so very excited to do more content. Uh, but we thought we'd record our commute, because uh, cause it's far, man. We can't stop the content. Yeah. We're, like, if we're spending the day shooting, we might as well shoot every single moment. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. So if you guys want to get caught up, our podcasts are on iTunes, Spotify, and all the uh, the video versions yeah. are on uh, YouTube. We've got live chat going, so if you want to send us a message, just, no, we don't. Live we chat. don't have live chat. <laughs> that's, just, that's just quite the opposite of live. Um, so yeah, we're just going to just shoot the shoot the shit. Uh, Ooh, I swear. Big swearing boy. <laughs> I swear. Big swearing boy. Aiden's going to have to censor that later. Yeah. But you know, now, now you're speaking in third person. Aiden's got a sense of that. <laughs> well, I speak in third person because I'm talking to my editing future self. Oh, like, I I'm see. just like face palming, and then <laughs> so I'm talking to you. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, about So that's what it's like being just <laughs> okay. See? Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Schizophrenia is a hell of a thing. It's so bad. Uh, but if you want to listen to uncensored version, uh, I won't touch our iTunes files. So if you uh, want to hear us swear and stuff, go, go there. It's sloppy. Give us five stars. Five stars. Yeah, you gotta. And iTunes, it's a whole, it's a whole star rating system, I think. Oh, and you only get recommended if you got a got star rating. Do you guys ever have those five star binders, like the Mead five star binder? Of course. With the zipper. Of course. Hell yeah. I just don't see how it's relevant to. You said five stars. Okay. I think binders, man. I'm still waking up. You say five stars. I think binders. Yeah. You say five star. We say binder. Five star. Binders. Five star. Binders. There we go. When I say. Uh, Binders, you say zippers. Organization. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. See, I dropped yeah. out. You so dropped out. I, I yeah, out. it's been a long time Rut since row. I've dealt with the binders. Rut row. Rut row. Rut row. We got traffic. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Highway Six. Welcome to Highway Six. Between Hamilton and Guelph, Ontario, it's always a it's show. It's always a show. I used to drive this all the time when I could see and also drive, and it sucked this road. Because it's like. It's only two lanes and a lot of cars. It's, it's two lanes. It's super busy. Guelph yeah. is a commuter town now. And, oh, yeah. And and it gets foggy for no good reason. I lost the wiper blade once. Just oh, flew no. off on the road. The fog took it out? Yeah. No. Uh, it was like, like thick fog. fog. That's like some the mist. Yeah, fog. no. That, like was, the mist? that wasn't fog. That was children. Um, is this, imagine this is how the episode is this ends. Like we're being chased by the mist. And then yeah. I, have to, I have to shoot both of you. And then I don't have a bullet for myself. And I go out. The military's behind us. There you go. Twist. Wow. There's no monsters. It's the military. Spoiler. <laughs> and then I got to deal with that rest of my life. Yeah. I thought mist took place on an island. And there were puzzles. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Oh, it's really sneaky. Sneaky. So, uh. So, this is just a random podcast. This right? is a random podcast. Yeah. We're just going to I don't feel bad about the binder thing. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. 9.02 in These the morning. These guys are from Toronto, so they get up a little early. Fast approaching 9.03. I got up at 6. You got up at 6? Oh, my God. I got up at 6.30. I got six, I six, 6.15. Look at me being Goldilocks. Goldilocks and yeah. Mars. <laughs> so tell me, Aiden, why are you excited for Shakespeare? Oh, man. Well, we, you had the Shakespeare, when we and had I did the not. beers, I really liked them. So I'm really excited. And I think they promised Dan the black IPA. I'm so you've stoked. You've expressed your not not upsetness, but like you were like, oh, I wish I wish they had one. Yeah. And well, I saw on their website it. they had one, and then I got to your house, oh. and you're like, I don't have it. And I'm like, <sighs> okay. Oh, jeez. Very good. Dan just likes the long, thick, firm, black IPA. Thick, <laughs> firm. Yeah, okay. I know what I like. <laughs> And I like, <laughs> and I like get, getting demonetized. <laughs> I like getting demonetized, baby. Well, that's the fun thing. We're not even monetized. Yep. So Can't get demonetized if you aren't monetized take already. Take that, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Wait, is it Mark? No, it's no. not. It's uh, Mr. YouTube. It's Mr. YouTube. John YouTube. John YouTube. <laughs> How'd you come up with the name YouTube? Well, it's funny enough, it's my last name. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a, a, a family name, YouTube A. It's, uh... <laughs> John F. YouTube. Yeah. John F. YouTube. 
So they, they removed the accent aigu off their last e, so they yeah. didn't confuse the Anglos with the YouTube. That makes sense. But uh, um, I know what you're talking about. Aha! Uh-huh. So <laughs> aigu to you too. Aigu. <laughs> so, sure. So Shakespeare is located in the town of Shakespeare. Is it a town? What do they call it? Yeah, it's a town. The town of Shakespeare. Town, yeah. And it's, it's close. A city. It, it's close to Stratford, right? Where we Near, got nearest to uh, Stratford. Yes. Right yeah. next to Stratford. Yep. Yeah. North of um, London. See, I don't. Honestly, if I didn't have a GPS, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Where my ha- house is. So. Turn left now. No. Oh God. <laughs> We're on a highway. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's just a field. That's just a big, big old field. There's nothing there. If you're blind, everything's a road. Turn man. left. Uh, if you're... Siri, no, there's nothing left. Turn left now, Aiden. No, there's nothing left. Turn left now. I like when your GPS tells you to do illegal stuff. Oh, I know. Take an illegal and U-turn. It, it, it tells you, yeah. Please perform an illegal U-turn. Wait, yeah. you just said it's illegal. Garrett, Garrett, and I, uh, Garrett and I came up with an app that gets you to destinations for free, but it tells you to do awful things. So it's like, acquire a vehicle. And you go to a car to carjack it, and they tell you, like, all the... <laughs> It's like, oh, this ca- this guy's kid has, has a terminal illness. Use that to your advantage. Or <laughs> just like, wow. but you get to your destination for free. There Car- you go. Carjack a car. That sounds like it would be I know where you live. You live at 205. <laughs> get out of the car. Is this like a I'll plot of a you. movie or something? Yeah, it's like a Black Mirror kind of thing. <laughs> I bet I just so. teach you how to hitchhike. We so, uh, so I need ten million dollars to <laughs> produce this app. So this is what the <laughs> I'm gonna take to the, the Shark Tank. <laughs> you might get do. some money from Kevin O'Leary. He's pretty, pretty inhuman. So he's, uh, he's a little scary. Yeah, a little scary. Yeah. So, uh, what are you guys playing these days? What kind of games are you guys playing? Not a whole lot. I've been whole playing whole a lot of Snake on Google Maps. Snake. That's Minesweeper. Yeah. Minesweeper. Nice. No, on on uh, April Fool's Day, they, they had Snake on Google Maps. It was awesome. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's what? Cool. That's all I'm contributing. How, how did that work? It just showed up on your screen. Well, it's when and... they had a uh, Pac-Man on Google Maps. The, yeah. Oh. You didn't know they had that? No. I, I was... Yeah, you could you could zoom in anywhere you wanted on Google Maps and turn it into a Pac-Man map and what? actually play Pac-Man. It was that's so cool. so cool. Yeah. Why was I not there was alive? That, there was that. There was a Where's Waldo. You were alive? Was that like... That was a few years ago. Wow. Yeah. Well, wow. I think there was a Mario well, Kart one like at one point as well. <laughs> huh? yeah. yeah, I remember the, I did the Mario Kart one. Mario was cool. But it wasn't real. It was just like your car looked like Mario Kart. Yeah, which is cool. Which is, which is cool. As a pedestrian, which I'm like, fucking Mario. Sick. Look at freaking me. <laughs> I just wish I was a Waluigi. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't get the same oomph out of the, the Mario Kart thing when I, like, just ride streetcars all the time. No. Yeah. Mario, why are you stopping? Why are you stopping again? Mario, Who are, who are you, all these people? Why are, you, why are you jumping on the bus, Mario? It'd be funny if Mario just, like, whatever transportation you're taking, he, like, he, like, gets off. Like, if you're on a bus, Mario walks onto a bus. <laughs> Call me, Google. Yeah. I know you're listening. Mar- Prol- problem is, they, so ideas, Google. they're they're switching to only Presto, so and Mario only uses coins. Uh, it's a Mario. It, Mario can't it's use It's not even Toronto a card we take. <laughs> I like to add some coins onto my Presto card. Why is he what? German? <laughs> <laughs> I would like Good. to. I, look, I am Good. your happy friend it's... from the video game. I am Super Mario. I am Super. Super Mario. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uber Mario. I'm, Guten Abend, I'm, mein Name is, is, is Mario. I am the forgotten arch nemesis of Mario. <laughs> I think originally War, Wario was was German. I think he had a German accent. Is that why he was yellow? I think maybe. What? Yeah. I think yellow for, in, in the commercials for Mario uh, Mario oh, Land 2. Mario would weird if he was blonde with blue eyes. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. It was so weird. Oh my god. Mar- Marian? And he'd Marian. Have- <laughs> <laughs> Mario real. Yeah. Oh no, I just thought of something terrible that I'm not putting on camera. <laughs> I had a great joke. Yeah. Uh, we're on camera. You can tell it. It's funny. Uh, uh, oh, that's why we're going so. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll animate it someday. I'll we'll do an animated thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, there's, 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 there's some real. I really like Mario, man. He just eats whatever he wants. Yeah. And farts on people. Yeah. That's the dream. That's your entire life. That's War- the dream. Wario Land was. One of the best games Warland's on the Game Boy. Amazing. Yeah. Oh my god. So I loved how the power ups work. Yeah. Like sometimes even taking damage from an enemy was like, you have a power up now. Yeah. 
Well, you couldn't die. Yeah. Oh, you couldn't. What? Okay, in, uh, it's been a while since I played. Yeah. In in Wario Land, yeah, you couldn't die. You could only get. You would lose could coins fall, and treasure fall. and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, it was more a puzzler than right. a. Right. Pla- yeah. Oh, it was such a. Was it the combo. penguin that turned you drunk? I can't remember. I think it was penguin. yeah, like a. And they they uh, I saw this on uh, Digital Gaming, but they uh, they. Uh, had to censor North America because apparently the penguin enemy would hold a beer can. And oh, that's them. right, yeah. And then when Mario got hit by it, he got super wasted. Yeah. But uh, they changed it to like a balloon in the North American release, mm-hmm. so people were confused to why that power-up does that. It's like, why does the balloon make him look weird and yeah. like, swivel around and But then you've got... It's because he's Yo- hammered. Then it's, you've got like level one, one five Mario's on Yoshi. Alcoholic. There you go. <laughs> they don't have to explain anything to that. Yoshi's Island yeah. when you yeah. walk level into... Yeah, level 1-5. Yeah, Touch like... Fuzzy, get dizzy. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, Fuzzy, get dizzy. Yeah, yeah. you've played that, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, you, you just touch those weird, like, puffy things, and then you, everything yeah. goes warped. They're, fu- they're called Fuzzy. And, oh my god, yeah. You, oh, 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 you want a real... Forget uh, Sekiro and, and, and Dark Souls. Try playing Touch Fuzzy, get dizzy without touching Fuzzy. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's fucking it's, hard. It's so hard. I gotta say though, like the, those Kids Yoshi's Island days. games were actually like real platformers at a time. Yeah. Like they they were actually difficult. Like I'm playing through Willy World right, not Willy World, the uh, Crafted World. Yeah. Nice. And it's just a baby game. I, oh, it is baby. game. It's a baby yeah. game. Yeah. yeah. I like. I enjoy it. I, I like it, but like I have to. I can only play it for so long before I go baby game. Yeah. <laughs> I have to yeah. play something else. It's yeah. The same, it's the same as Kirby too. Kirby. Yeah. Oh my god, I couldn't even get through the first world in Kirby. I was like, this. Is yeah, Kirby's the same so thing. So boring. Like, yeah. Old Kirby was still so meant for kids, mm-hmm. but it was challenging enough for people that were not kids. Yeah. That same is, same thing with Yoshi's Island. I remember in Crystal Shards, you can combine powers, and I remember spending hours seeing what each power up made. Yeah, yeah. I'm like that game was so fun. I want to go on record as saying Yoshi's Island for the Super NES is the best game ever made. Ever made? Ha- hands down. It's, I, it's, it's, my, it's just my, so polished. It's perfect. It's my favorite speed run. Like I. Love watching Yoshi's Island speedruns. Yeah, they are so impressive to yeah. watch. I'm like, how do they even? What is happening? I've done a hundred percent run, and that that's probably my biggest gaming so uh, accomplishment. You have to take an exit to the 401 uh, West. 401 West. Okay. Yeah, it, it should be coming up. There's just this truck in front of us. It's going slow. It's, it's, okay. Oh. it's okay. Gotta go fast. Oh my god. Yeah. Worth that But yeah, baby games. Yeah. Like, I, I totally, like, you know, Nintendo has, is doing so well with, like, catering towards, like, like everyone, like a family. And, like, even, like, you can even notice in Mario Odyssey they have that, like, Cappy mode or, like, the assist modes and stuff. Yeah. Which is great. And there was that in, like, I think the new Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. That's when that kind of started. Yeah. Well, they added, uh, what's his name? Uh, Nabbit, who can't die. Oh, yeah. I hate Nabbit. Uh, Nabbit's a Yeah. But even, like, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, I felt like it was like they added Funky Kong mode, and I wanted to play as Funky, but it's easy mode. Oh, I don't is wanna, it? I don't want to play easy mode. No. I, want I want love the Funky funk. Kong. I, I want the funk around. to be brought. I want to funk I, around. I need to yeah. funk around, dude. Speaking of baby games, uh, did you beat Sekiro yet? Baby games? <laughs> oh. uh, no. No, I, I, got, I, got, uh, I got a little frustrated, so I'm taking a break. I'm going to go back. Oh, Muffin. Shut up. <laughs> Don't ever get tired of it, just... Uh, Give it to me. It to yeah. Me. Have or you had, give it to me if you want to give have it to me. Have you fine. tried? Have you tried not sucking at video games? Uh, yeah, a few times. <laughs> oh, a few okay. Times. Well, you know, uh, try it again. Try it again. Uh, try a little harder. <laughs> I want to play the hell out of it. It, it is yeah. great. It is a great video game. I'm, I, I love it a lot. Um, I just find I don't have a lot of patience when I when I die. So like I die once, I'm like, what the fuck? I should have done that. That's the game. That's, that's the whole point of the game. That's... There you go. I get it. Like, I'm stuck at this boss, and he's easy, but he just keeps getting me, because if he hits you once, you die. Doesn't sound like he's all that easy. Not exactly. <laughs> it's all like, I'm like, doing it, I'm almost got my last thing, and it just gets me. I'm like, ah, oh, f***. sucks. I do like that you can, like, res yourself, which is kind of fun. Yeah. But I'm going to go back. I'll go back. And I like Samurais a lot, so... I enjoy the aesthetics and the, the graphics. Yeah. Movement's really fun. 
I'll watch a little bit of stuff on it because I don't want to spoil anything in the story. And yeah. Stuff, but, oh my god, it looks great. Yeah. I want to play it. It's great. I just I get triggered when people say it's it's easier than. Dude, everybody is just strumming their own. Yeah. Everyone said that when Bloodborne came out, they're like, oh, it's, it's way easier it's than, funny. than it Dark Souls. It's funny, it depends who you talk to. Because I, I thought Bloodborne yeah. was easier than the Souls games, and I spoke to some of my friends who are Souls fans, they're like, no, I think Bloodborne's harder than Dark Souls. I'm like, really? So I guess it really I, depends I on find, your... I find, like, Bloodborne's harder. You, you did? Yeah. I thought it was... I, cause you, I, can, you can cheese Dark Souls pretty easily. Yeah. I feel like Bloodborne... You can cheese Bloodborne, Bloodborne too, though. Well, in some aspects, but... Yeah. It's less defensive playstyle. You have to be very dodgy. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't block. Yeah, you. I mean, you have to be dodgy a lot in Dark Souls as well. But if you want to be tanky, you can. In Sekiro, they do not want you um, dodgy. Like they want you to have sword play. And like I try, like I have that the instinct to like roll to the side. Yeah. But then their attacks track you, and they hit you anyway. Oh. No. So uh, there are some moves that like they'll like indicate and then you know when to dodge but like their normal attacks you can't dodge them or they just track you and hit you okay uh because they want you to use the parry system uh yeah it's it's a very different beast yeah i'm happy that it's like that though i want it to be its own thing and it's like you can cheese it in the way that like if ever there's like a fight that i'm like i know i'm not gonna win i just literally grab a hook out of there and then i wait till they lose sight of me and i stealth kill them all (laughs) So if you're like, oh, I don't think I'm going to win this one. Yoink. See ya. Okay, bye. It's windy. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's a windy oh, day. Looks like there's like a rainstorm that we're going into or something. Oh, see, yeah. look at the clouds. But good thing Ain brought his lights. It might be dark. Ooh. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Are, are any of you getting Mortal Kombat? I am. Not a fighter game boy, me. I, uh, fighter game boy, it's me. It's not a yeah. fighting game. It's a murder game. <laughs> there it's you a can. murder. You game. only buy it to decapitate <laughs> people. Kill. It's, it's bad I for buy children. More combat. It's I buy more combat to see the fatalities. I actually like the more combat games. I think the fighting is fun. Yeah, I I, I agree. I, I like the Nether Realm games a lot. Like yeah, I love same, same as Injustice. I, yeah, I really, really like. Great. Um, although Injustice is zone heavy and you can be zone heavy in Mortal Kombat oh this one's looking a little zony some of the characters are very uh, but a lot of characters have teleports true to just get around it tell you like and the teleports fast enough to like it's instant right I know Noob has a teleport right I can't wait to play Noob side by Noob has a teleport uppercut like he goes underneath and he comes up and sure you I I can't wait to play Noob Saibot and uh, and the, the collector Oh, you see the collector, oh, right? Fuck yeah, I want the collector. <laughs> he looks so cool. I know, like he's so cool. He's a cool new character. Like he has six arms. He's like a like a oh, loot goblin. Uh, like Dan. Bonus like, Goro. He collects stuff. So yeah, one of his so, fatalities, he, he like rips your head off and puts it in his sack. Yeah, he, <laughs> he collects your head. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so it's not like pop figures or something. No. <laughs> like literally, yeah. He's so he has, I got the shiny one. Got the, I got the yeah, case. So he's kind of like Goro, but he has six arms, but he's skinny. Oh. And yeah. he, has, he has like. Like has magical stuff. He's got like a lantern and like yeah. a mace. So and he's got like two daggers on the other arms, That's and his other two arms are just like holding his backpack, and it has yeah. all coins and wow. stuff. And his combos are cool. He's like jabbing at the bottom, then he like leans down at his back, and my hands do shit. It's like, oh. Yeah, he like stabs you a lot yeah. and stuff, and then That's he crazy. throws fire with the lantern. It's so cool. Yeah, I can't he, wait. He looks really cool. I can't um, wait. Yeah, in terms of a new character, he looks really good. Cause like it's weird. Like a lot of the new characters that they announced like reminds me a lot of like Injustice characters. Like that new uh, what's her name, Satria. Satria. She looks like Ivy, doesn't she? Does she have moves similar it, to Ivy? It's funny because uh, I was watching the trailer with Christina. Without saying anything, I was just like, "This woman reminds me of like Mother Nature or yeah. something." And then I didn't tell her anything more than that. And then I watch it with Christina. The first thing she says is, "Ivy." This person looks like Ivy. Yeah. And then. Even I was watching like Maximilian's video and he was like, This looks like an injustice character and I was yeah. like, It really does. And even like Noob has like the scarecrow like pro like uh the, the, the hook, like, the hook the thing, hook, yeah. Yeah, the hook blades. So they they must like carry assets from like their older games and Kind you know. of. I mean they're they're keeping the the armor system thing, like Changing the the body armor on your character. Yeah, yeah. And it has like buffs. But and the, stuff. it does do buffs. 
It does, but apparently it's like super minor. Like oh, it does okay. hardly anything. Um, you could probably turn Injustice it off again. Injustice was, was yeah. nutty. Injustice was a lot. It, nutty. it would give you a lot of. Um, yeah, you can change the the suits of your characters, and it gives them slight things. I think. But yeah. so so far, I'm really liking the roster. Yeah, no. um, it's huge. A lot of characters right now. Yeah, there's only a few left. They showed Katana today. Oh yeah. Uh, they showcased Katana. They didn't show gameplay, but it, yeah. it's basically just like a, a reveal of Katana. It shows like her fighting Scorpion, like this CG cinematic thing. Oh. Um, I, I didn't see that. I gotta watch it. Yeah. Katana's we already cool. we already knew she was gonna be in the game. Yeah. Um, Jade looks great too. There's a few characters that they haven't showcased yet. They haven't shown Devora yet either. So they're probably gonna have a combat. But she cast. was announced, right? Yeah, yeah. She's in it. Um, they're probably gonna do a combat cast soon and showcase Katana and Devora and probably reveal a third person. Cause like they even they showed Aaron Black last time, but yeah. they never really revealed him. Right. Like he, he was shown and like people saw him and like I think there was a fatal blow that was getting done on him. Yeah. So people knew he was in the game, but they never really like did like a reveal trailer. Uh, they just showed him in the combat cast. Yeah. Um, interesting enough though, Aaron Black has reptiles acid. So, like, he had, like, sand grenades in MKX. Is Reptile in the game? Not yet. Not so, yet. I'm thinking Reptile might not even make it. Oh. Uh, I know people were Which is kind of weird. Which is kind of weird. Reptile was so cool. Reptile wasn't in X, was he? He is, yeah. He was in X? He's an X, yeah. Reptile's an X. So, back to the buffs and stuff. See, like, you guys are fighting game little boys there. And what do you... How do you guys feel about buffs? Like, do you, th- do you think that that can really... And that like shift a balance in the game. Like if somebody's using like crazy buffs on one guy, and then like how do you feel that for I like the tournament it, scene? I think in terms of fighting games, buffs are frowned upon. Yeah. Because like you don't want something, some mechanic to justify what makes a character good. Right. Like because the problem with injustice was that a lot of characters were not good unless you gave them specific armors that uh, made them good was it was really like annoying that, yeah. like they, well, they added red hood and red hood was really cool but a lot of his moves were garbage unless you put specific armors and stuff that could change his moves to make them good right and i was just like mm, that that kind of doesn't seem right yeah that's kind of weird but you don't have to use the armor buffs right so like in competitive no. tournaments they wouldn't have no those. you can it, it, it's just the vanilla character you can, turn, oh, okay. you can turn them off and you can make them cosmetic only I think cosmetics obviously are always good yeah, yeah cosmetics um, are great but I think in terms of buffs I don't think they have a good place in fighting games maybe for the casual scene yes but uh, yeah. for competitive no never never I can, I can like, see it being fun your, for like a story mode or something yeah. you're progressing through solo it's like an RPG yeah, yeah that, and, that would be cool and like in competitive games too like in, in fighting games you need to learn matchups right so if i'm if i'm fighting scorpion for example i know exactly what scorpion's capable of but if he's got all these buffs and ner- and like these new moves like i'm like i don't know what to expect and, mm-hmm. right you know like um, that's why i always get uh, kind of upset when i see like we oh, can change the moves i'm like oh i don't like that because yeah i don't i yeah. don't want to be like but i've this, never seen that move before and this one is interesting because you can actually pick your special moves so like moves are not associated to armor or anything they oh, give okay. you a list of special moves and then you have three slots that you can fill. Oh, okay. And your special moves either take one slot or two slots. Is you, that in just standard Mortal that, Kombat? That's in this one. It's, in this it's one. the normal thing. Because really the last one had the play styles in X, MKX right? had variations. variations. So there was three variations. There would be like, this is this play style, this is this play style, this is this play style. Right. So if oh, you could cool. play a character with two different variations, then they wouldn't play exactly the same. Right. They'd have like similar combos, but their special moves would be different. Yeah. Um, in this one, they just give you a straight up list, and you can yeah, pick whatever com- like combinations you want. So most of the times, the the moves that are really good will take two slots, mm. and then the other ones will take one slot. So you can either put three moves that take one slot, or a move that takes two slot and a move that take one slot. So let's say you and I go to a tournament, we pick our special moves. Yes. Wow. That's cool. Am I? I wonder if I'm. I, I, am I allowed to know what your special moves are so that I kind of. Well, you know, you, I, yeah. I like personally that I like that it makes me think of like OG Pokemon tournaments where yeah. you would go and battle other people and you don't know what their what their Charizard has right. yeah as whatever. soon as they use their move once you're just gonna be like now I know what you got exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, and it's nothing I mean I feel like the variation system 
in MKX, there was always that one variation that was better than the other two, so right. everyone would pick that mm, one. Yeah. So I think in this one, people will find out which moves are really good, and you'll just see the same ones right. like, over and over. Yeah. That's kind of cool, They'll though. just come out in the wash eventually. Yeah, because like, I, I even watched a few people play the beta, and they play like Scorpion and stuff, and they're like, there's only like two special moves for Scorpion that people want to use, because everything wow. else is just super unsafe, or it just doesn't lead to anything, it's not right. worth it. So it, it depends. But I, I like that you can change your character. Like, even Jade has, like, four different projectiles that she can Jade have. Jade looks so cool. Jade, has, Jade is a zoner in this. Yeah. It's so weird. But you can spec her to make her more close quarters if you Use want. Use staff and stuff. Yeah. All so right, it, it depends so on your play style. Like, explain like I'm five. What's zoning? Like, like five? Dun, so, dun, zoning, dun. zoning is uh, basically applying pressure from a far distance. Oh, okay. Like you're okay, throwing, so you've you're got throwing, more range You're throwing then. projectiles. Oh, okay, fair So, like, you're able to apply pressure from full screen. Oh, okay, right on. Whereas, so Jade has four projectiles. She's got a projectile that hits low, a projectile that hits mid, a projectile that she throws upward for anti-air, oh and a projectile that if she jumps up, she throws it diagonally downwards. Oh, okay. Oh so she has, she can cover, like, all options. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, but how so, is she up close? Like, up close, she's yeah. actually really good because she has oh. a staff. Okay. Um, so she wants to keep you mid range, so she can poke you from mid range. If right. you're up to her face, she doesn't like that. Yeah. So she wants you to be either full screen or mid screen. Okay. So that's her whole thing. So but your she, strategy is just to keep up close to her. And she also yeah. has a teleport. Oh. oh f so. It sounds like like, uh, I mean, I'm reaching back to the last time I probably played Mortal Kombat, but it sounds like like OG Sub-Zero where he was kind of not great up close even though he was just a clone of Scorpion at the time. but he can like do his teleport and and had more ranged attacks if I remember right yeah uh, yeah you can play Sub-Zero kind of cheap in that way uh, in MKX there was a variation where you could drop an ice clone and then if have you uh, played any of them where you I haven't played the ice clones so, yeah so I think did he have ice clones in like like Super NES Mortal Kombat 2 Oh, no, I no, think maybe, he only maybe. got them in three, possibly. I, I could be wrong. But Might Ice Clones is essentially, like, he copies himself made of ice, and he jumps backwards. Yeah. And then that clone stays there for a good, like, three seconds or something. And oh, if okay. the opponent touches that clone in any way at all, they freeze. Okay, that might so, have been in an older one, because I remember that, but I never played X. So, so that's just, like, a defensive play style. So what they would do is they would drop the clone... And you can shoot ice balls through the clone. They go oh. through it. Oh, okay. So literally, you throw the clone, and then you can just start chucking. Jesus. And if they try to challenge it, and they touch the clone in any way, they get frozen, and then you get a free combo out of yeah. it. Yeah. So it's like... Do their projectiles go through? No, it'll hit the clone. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. That's, so it's, was that, that the same with his cheap. Injustice thing? Like, could you shoot through the clone? Um, in Injustice, like you could simulation. throw the clone. Right, you could throw it, yeah. Um, I'm it not was sure. a projectile. It was a projectile. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't seen too much Sub Zero playing in Justice actually, so I'm yeah. not even sure. <laughs> I'm, he probably could, but I, like I wouldn't be game. surprised. That was a great game. Yeah, just bring Grodd to MK11, <laughs> and I'll be alright. He's the guest character. Uh, yeah, stay on the 401. Stay on the 401. Well, anyway, you know, there's like, rumor that they're gonna put Spawn in. Oh so, god. Yeah. So okay, talking about guest characters and stuff. Um, Master Chief in Smash. Shut up! Shut your damn mouth! Master it's, Chief in Smash! Shut your damn mouth! <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's happening, Master That's Chief. So Smash. stupid! It's yep. never gonna happen. Nope. And, and God, I have, buy it. Yeah, I would buy it. Cortana you know will like, support the trophy. Steve makes sense. Master Chief does not. <laughs> Steve is not happening. That was a very convincing video, but it's not happening. Yeah, you have to stay on, stay on the right. Anyway, sorry, go There was more evidence coming out saying that Banjo was going to be in Smash. I saw a video yesterday. I'm very excited. Well, my, Microsoft and Nintendo, they're getting all, like... Buddy, buddy. They're buddies. So that's why Master Chief Smash 2019. Woo! No! Yep. No, you're wrong. Oh, and then... Oh, oh and then you could, like, have palette swaps and have, like, red versus blue? Uh, yeah, for guest characters, uh... Fuck, I probably repeat myself a lot, but... I really want the mask, because I heard the mask would be... The mask? Yeah. Like Jim Carrey's the mask. Jim Carrey's no. the mask? No, no, no. Comic book. Oh. Oh, oh okay. So like, because there's already Spawn, and they said they were very open to putting in, like, comic book characters. Mask? I don't know the mask. The, in the comic books, the mask is, like, insanely violent. Yeah. 
So, like, think of the movie, except he murders everyone. He literally kills people. <laughs> wait, were we talking... Wait, we're actually talking about the comedy. Yeah, the, the mask. Like, like the Jim Carrey movie? Yeah. I'm not talking about the movie. There's a, there was a comic book before the movie. That the movie's that the based movie's on. the movie's based on? Yes. Am I getting up here? Uh, yeah. It's going to take the exit. That is so amazing. And it, so it's literally so he's got the mask. Loki's mask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's the same thing. Yellow suit and the green mask. Except, and he can pull guns and <laughs> But he actually murders people. Let's get Jim Carrey to voice him. And it's and it, it's oh insanely fucking funny. Dude, that'd be I've fucking seen, awesome. I've seen just a few things of it. Like, I'm just like, wow, this thing is insane. Oh, my God. Are you looking it up? Huh? No. Uh, oh, I, th- th- I, th- I thought you looked it up and no, you were, was, like, I looking was, at it or something. I, I was, no, like, I was, uh... Yeah, so, so that, that was a cool uh, idea that somebody had, because they were like, well, Spawn's in a comic, and they said they were open to, like, comic book characters, so yeah. people were like... So there's what no about... evidence saying they're going to do it? No, 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 but... Do you think Spawn would go in, though? Because Spawn's oh, already been yeah. in um, well, Soul Calibur. Well, he was in yeah. the GameCube Soul Calibur. That was a long uh, time Xbox. ago. Oh, sorry, Xbox. No, he was yeah. Xbox. Xbox, sorry. Yeah. Um, that, was a, that was a very, very, very long time ago. That was a long ago. time yeah. ago. And sure. also, they're coming out with the new series of Spawn... Yeah, because people that's were saying true. that like it would be a way of like advertising. Yeah, um, that's Because also, uh, it too is coming, and they like putting <gasps> they like putting horror characters in Pennywise. So Pennywise. People were saying Pennywise. Awesome. Pennywise. He can do a stupid be. dance. Yeah, <laughs> you can do a stupid dance and <laughs> just <laughs> fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking kill you. Yeah. He like sucks your soul out and throws you into a. It would be perfect. Where the other like, kid what corpses are. Because if they're thinking about horror characters. They haven't done Pennywise yet. Uh, they Pennywise could. They could cool. do Mike Myers too. They could do Mike Myers. Has yeah. Predator ever been in one? Predator has. Predator, been. right? Yeah, that's it right. It was Alien and Predator. Yeah, they did Alien right. and Predator for the classic. That was so high, man. That was such a good DLC. Yeah. The DLCs were good. And Leatherface was so cool. And Jason Voorhees. I just want. I just want a, a horror in ju- a, a NetherRealm game. Like I would love to see like Buffy. I'd love to see like Ash versus Evil Dead. Oh, I want to yeah. see um, like just all horror icons. Like I, I want them all in a, in a fighting game. That would be that'd be friggin' legendary. Pinhead and then Pinhead, yeah. Put Chucky in there and just make him yeah. OP because he's so small. He's like, hey. yeah. well, they, hell, I bet they might because there's the new Chucky movie coming out. Yeah, man. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if if they could put Yoda in, the in one, <laughs> um, yeah. then yeah, the height is not gonna be a problem. Yeah, if Yoda could be in. Yeah. Oh, it'll be out. a problem. Yeah. People will complain. Oh, yeah. It's or like, it, they don't, could do don't the fight murderer. They could do the murderer before he became the doll. Like, he could just be that the murderer. That is true. Yeah. And he just looks like like Chucky, right? Like, he could just have the hair and shit. Because they kind of did that with Mega Man. And what game was it? it was He, like, looked like a real man. Oh. What, what fighting game was that? Did they bring him into one? Cause Mega I, Man was in it. He was, he was like, this fat in man. A, in a fighting game? In a fighting game, yeah. He was, like, this big, fat guy. <laughs> I forget what game it was. I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm gonna have to look it up. After it was just that. literally a mega. It was man. literally. It was like I think it was like, uh, at, like you know the like when the old look of Mega Man. And yeah, the like box from art, the old. He was like, yeah, yeah, he was actually like a dude in a. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's what was inspired by it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's incredible. It was some Capcom game. I'm trying to. That's hilarious. Probably like pa- there was Pac Man in the game. He was in a big suit. What? Yeah. Was it some like weird what Marvel vs. Capcom? Was it like maybe Dead Rising? No, because I know they they had a ton of references. And all yeah. that no, no, not Dead Rising. It was a fighting game. Like it was a, huh? it was like a Street Fighter fighting game. Weird. Kind of thing. Probably an MVC or something. No, I have to no? look it up. I, when we when we put Paul, uh, our comments are gonna be like, you guys are fucking stupid. It was. It was. You guys are fucking stupid. It was Capcom versus N- Only if NK Neo. I know who Victor is. You're such an idiot. Oh, I've dedicated my life to memorizing everything. I just never played. Castlevania before stop yelling have you really not this. well I'm playing them now oh. but like when we were watching <laughs> Jesus, the, I'm we're, upset we were wa- like uh, watching the Smash Direct when they announced because Simon and, and oh, Richter yeah. like I before the Direct happened I was like I'd be really great to see Simon because I think Simon's a you know huge yep. gaming icon um, and I and I love that he's got whips and stuff like I think that'd be really sick for Smash we just and learned something announced, about Aiden today they announced yep Ooh. And they, so they announced <laughs> Simon, and then they announced Richter as an Echo Fighter, and I was like, who's that? And then people were just freaked out. And it was our one video that got views, and yeah. people were like, you don't even know who Richter is. I'm like, the one video you guys watch, I'm like an idiot. Like, I'm <laughs> crying for King K. Rule, and I'm like, who the f- is Richter? Like, <laughs> you got your priorities straight up. Okay? I'll uh, link that to the, in the description <laughs> if you guys want some context. Oh, jeez. Are we almost there? 
20 minutes back? Yeah, 20 minutes. It says 28 minutes. Nice. This commute's not bad at all. It's yeah. great, actually. It's like yeah. a fun drive. The Zoom might uh, run out of batteries, but... No, I have batteries, too, if we want Sorry. to do another. We'll have to have a brief pause. Yeah. A brief You guys want to do that now, or how, how low is the... Uh... Yeah, well, I've done it's a, It says one now. bar. When it goes to zero, it'll still go for a few minutes. Yeah. Cool. Like I can stop it when it goes to zero. Even when it dies, it'll just... It's, it just keeps the recording, too, so... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be really interested to see how the audio comes out. <sighs> yeah, if you can, like, hear a whole lot of noises. Yeah, we'll see. So, beer... Beer. Beer. That that beer. I know. I don't know fighting games, but I know beer. What's your favorite beers? What are, what are your favorite beers? My favorite That's what beers? I was ask. Um, I'm a big... Uh, I like hoppy beers. Um, yeah. yeah, you were saying. You're coming around to them. Yeah. Well, I, well, I, I, I've always enjoyed know. them, but like there's some that had too much hops. Mm. But even then, like I feel like I've acquired that taste, and I, yeah. I'm enjoying them a little bit more. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just like you. Yeah, I'm excited to try the Black IPA, because I wonder, like, is it just going to be like... A stout, but a little hoppier. Mm-hmm. Is that is that what it is? Like kind of, yeah. Kinda? It's yeah. I, I'm I'm excited to ask them like what makes a black IPA a black right. IPA because I don't know, and it's one of my favorite types of beer. Do you know if we're able to interview one of the guys? Uh, I that's the plan. I really hope so. Um, I've, uh, I've we can ask apparently them. the owner. What makes a black IPA? Well, the owner yeah. and the uh, the, the other guy is going to be there. Yeah, the brewmaster should wow. be there. I think the brewmaster. Well, he's like. That's- there's like two owners, it. and so the guy's named Aiden. <laughs> um, but with a Y. It's not me. Aiden with a Y. He doesn't spell it right. <laughs> it's our child. <laughs> it's my bit. It's, it's, it's our child. It's our child. <laughs> Even though he's older than us. Uh, I think, I assume. I don't know. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> you, assume, you assume. I don't know you. I just assume. You seem to have your life together. You're probably older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite the opposite. <laughs> These millennials only have their life together at 45. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, Eve, what kind of, what's your favorite type yeah. of beer? What do you, what do you dig? I've uh, been in a lot of Thai IPAs, too, recently. Right on. I've been nice. drinking a lot of the Dead Elephant. Dead Ooh, Elephant? Dead yeah. Elephant's nice. We had that on our I, show. and Yeah, even... I had it once, and I was just like, that's a really good freaking beer. Yeah. That's so, a pretty good. Yeah, I've been buying it a lot. Yeah. It's a solid hop, but it's not intense. It's not like a no, bone shaker. I, yeah, or like, yeah. I've been really liking it so far. Yeah. So, I usually like find one beer that I like and I get that for a while and then I yeah. kind of change moods. Yeah. But uh, yeah, IPAs for sure. Yeah. I always change mine per season. I'm like now I'm getting back into kind of like the the mid range ales. Yeah. You know? I, I was stouts and porters all winter and like dark ales and now it's like your dark lagers, dark ales and stuff. But then in the summertime, then I'll switch over to like lighter ales, little lagers, yeah. a couple things. In the summertime, I like having like a hoppy beer that also has. Uh, traces of grapefruit. Mm, oh, yeah, I got like, I, I, I've been getting. Uh, yeah, I've been buying the hops and robbers. Oh hops yeah, robbers. yeah, that's and, nice. Uh, they have a grapefruit one, and it's really good. Nice, nice. Uh, have you ever had the Waterloo? I think it's a grapefruit, grapefruit rattler. It's oh, is it? Yeah, What's it called? it's it's water. It's by Waterloo Brewing Company. Oh, I've had that one. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah grapefruit really rattler. Yeah, yeah, rattlers yeah. Are good. Kind of like a yellow and purple can. It's really I've nice. What? Uh, with Rattlers, I like to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, Aiden.exe has frozen. He just, Aiden, just, <laughs> he just <laughs> has a stroke like, on his... <laughs> has a stroke on camera. Yeah. <laughs> and we all just go... <laughs> <laughs> we just have it all on camera, the car flipping in the ditch and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> At least we've got the, like, the, the GoPro in its case. It's like a black box. Yeah, it'll live. Yeah. Crystal will watch it as we die. Jesus. Jesus. So anyways, Rattlers. You <laughs> Rattlers. Rattlers are pretty great. <laughs> I like Rattlers. Uh, I find they're just, they don't, they're very quenching. Like, it's a nice, like, on yeah. the dock kind of, oh, yeah. on, a kind of beer. It's yeah. not really a thing to get drunk off of. It's no. just like, I mean, you, can't you, need, have... like, you need like 50 of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like having one on a sunny day just yeah, feels yeah. nice. Yeah, nice. It's nice to drink on the bus. That's good. It's nice on the to, bus. It's nice to get it's hammered nice to drink at, in a, public. at yeah. a public school park. Yeah, it's, out of a bag. So out of a bag. You'll yeah. have to take a ride on uh, Queen Street. Ah. It's the next ride. Ah. Fun rides on Queen Street. They got a Queen Street, too? Every town does. Every town. Oh, man. So are, ta- we in, are we in Shakespeare, Ontario now? Uh, we're in, no, it started with a W. <laughs> Will- Wakespeare? Wakespeare. <laughs> William probably would have been it's the better option there. Like but, a, you yeah. see the Y? Yeah, you just have yeah, to take the right. Keep on the right, yeah. So, uh, 
I want to ask them like, so uh, what inspired you to call your play Shakespeare? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Do you like the playwright a lot? We live here. Do you like the playwright? He's pretty good, I guess. He's written a few bangers. <laughs> I'm more of an Ibsen man myself. I'm more of a HP uh, Lovecraft. I like. I so, like their. Uh, they're fancy animals. Yeah. Oh, no, I love the, the art cans. on there, on their cans. It's really fun. Yeah. For the, uh... So, mmm, chicken. <laughs> Baca. <laughs> Baca. Oh, Baca. Oh, Baca. Oh, Baca. Oh, Baca. Oh, Baca. Oh, Baca. Lem. Ba. Lem. 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 Yeah. <laughs> the Milky Stout. What was your favorite one, uh, Dan? Uh, the, the beers we tried. I I really liked the the grumpy goat. The grumpy goat. To be honest, that was yeah. it was hoppy. It was very flavorful. Yeah. Um, it was refreshing. All some seem very refreshing. Yeah. And, like, some clean. some like really hoppy ones. Yeah. It's so it's like all about the hop and no flavor. It's like when you do a hot sauce that's just stupid hot. Yeah. And and then it's got no flavor to follow up. Like I love a stupid hot sauce, but Christ, if it just sears your mouth off. No point. I feel you. Same with the hot. Hey, the sun's coming out. Sun's out, butts out. <laughs> is that the same? That's it. Hey, it is now. Is that right. the same? Hold on. Right. No, I'm not gonna. Never gonna. I wonder how much these houses are up here. No. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, you, you gonna move to Shakespeare? Ah. Uh, I don't know. You're going to move even further from One us? Day I'd like a, so I'd, it'll take us two hours yeah. to get to you instead? Yeah, you guys could just jump on a train, get on a bus, uh, rent a car. Uh, we're gonna right, start I'll see the, you at nine. We're going to start the Dan and Eve show yeah, get called you guys Go F*** Yourself, Aiden. Get on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll just start our own show in Toronto. Yeah. What a, oh, no, the rivaling. Game and scotch and cooking. Game and we'll scotch. Cook. Game and cook. We should do that. Yeah. I'd, I'd be really into that. Yeah. It'd be really funny if you guys teach me how to how to cook. Yeah. Like meals. Yeah. Teach you how to cook. Teach me. Hey how to viewers, cook. do you guys want to see me and Eve teach Aiden how to cook? Drop it in the comments Drop below. Because Aiden cannot cook. He burns water. Yeah. It's impressive. It's very impressive. Yeah. It takes a lot to burn water. Yeah. We'll get you. We'll get you on the go. We'll turn yeah. you into a man. Yeah, we'll make a, a man out of you. Uh, yeah, you have to take a left on uh, her on road. Here. On the dark side of the moon. Be a man. Oh, will Disney copy strike me there? And demonetize. And Disney owns my video. <laughs> <laughs> we are a subs subsidiary now. Yeah. yeah. No, it's free right if you use uh, less than five seconds, I think. Sweet. Less than five seconds? Yeah. But what if I, I can it? show you the world? That's enough. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> now what would happen if throughout like an hour podcast that we just sang the whole song just in clips like <laughs> just four second clips all the way through release the entire thing in five second increments yeah and then just let some one of our lovely viewers that's what I should have done with the Borderlands and put it on Vimeo just, just did five second videos and like part one part two part three yeah. No, it's funny. Dan, Dan was telling me that uh, he hasn't played Borderlands. Which Dan? The other way this around. Argument? I haven't played Borderlands. He, he has I not yeah. played Borderlands. Yeah. I think you could, man. Oh yeah, no, it's it's not an issue of whether it could or couldn't. It's just I have even a Borderlands Two VR, so you could have your VR thing. Yeah. Oh my be god. Be in it and freak we out. We have to, because I have the VR. We should. We, it'd be cool if we did a video on. on oh yeah, you have PSVR. I, like, I mean, it. somebody had to buy it. Someone had to. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we should definitely do a VR video. We, we were, I've never played VR. Before. Fabulous he, Ali Ababwa. Thank you very much. Ha he ha we ha he ha we ha. Oh my Look god. The cows. Oh, oh we're in the god. middle of fing guys. Nowhere. We're in the middle of nowhere. This is kind of like where I grew this up. This is so exciting. <laughs> I mean, it's not far from where I grew up either. Wow. Fair enough. How clear. Wow, the air's so clean. Oh, I don't cough every time I inhale. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it smells like fucking uh, cow shit. <laughs> smells like cow shit. Hey, I That's like when that. you know it's good air. Yeah. <laughs> good air smells like cow shit. I love it when, when city it's are like, oh, it smells like cow poo. Oh it's like, that's God. natural. That's fresh. That's real. That's Try real. going to like, I went to, I, I went to Korea a couple of years ago, like a long time, over 10 years ago. And I just remember the smell of the city, man. It smelled so bad. Korea yeah. city. Very yeah. famous. Yeah, it was just, it was just rancid. I loved it though. It was a great trip. <laughs> 
The city just felt weird, but... Travels with Aiden, it smelled bad, Aiden. but it was fun. Out of ten, I would say this place smells four. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse. Solid four. I'm not gagging, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> I remember being on uh, on Spadina in during the garbage strike like 10, 11 years ago. The garbage strike? There was a garbage strike in Toronto. Oh my God. And it was the middle of the summer and they were filling up like outdoor rinks with the garbage because it, it was, was like the garbage men were not going to They were not garbage. picking it up. Wow. Because um, they were getting screwed for money or whatever. And, uh, yeah, there was garbage everywhere at Spadina. Like, all the butcher shops and everything, there was, like, chicken blood running out their front doors and down the street. Oh. It was awful. It it's was... Like some Armageddon I've got a, I've got a real strong, like, it's hard to make me gag. And that I was just, like, walking down the street. They like, just oh. had, they couldn't, they had nowhere to put it. Yeah. Tating. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us on our commute to the Shakespeare Brewing Company. Uh, check out our other videos. I'll videos up around right now uh please like and subscribe and follow us on instagram twitter uh give us a five star rating on itunes just do all this stuff and i'll and i'll uh, I'll, I'll i'll find you in high five are, are we on spotify we are yes we're on everything dude all right and we're gonna do one more on the way back yes, and me are. and eve are gonna be pissed drunk <laughs> hopefully hopefully yeah. all right thanks guys have a good one cheers